This video is sponsored by Enlisted. More on that later. Touching the roads, touching the roads, touching all the roads without leaving them, cause that's the concept of this video. Chain link fence? In front of me? No, there's gotta be another way around. There's no way I'm cut off here. I have to touch that road. I have to get over it somehow. How am I gonna... I got an idea. One day and 14 hours. For the mathematicians in my audience, that's 38 hours. The amount of time that Fallout 4 tells me this adventure took. However, it doesn't account for all of the Oh, I ran into it! That cost me an additional six hours or so, nor the fact that I banned Idiot Savant from this run, which cost me even more time, leaving my final time spent doing this at roughly 44 hours. The video preceding this one ended around the 18 hour mark. I suggest watching that one first, but if you haven't, here's a quick rundown. Fallout 4 on survival difficulty. Fast travel is enabled for my own sanity, and I am permanently locked to only traversing the map of the Commonwealth via its highways and roads. The final goal, of course, being to touch all of the roads in game, but as you'll learn as we go through this, it can get a bit complicated at times. The one exception to the rule is Hangman's Alley, which we've ruled as an acceptable safe zone to house our settlers and mac and cheese production, which for some reason is still a goal of mine, so we'll keep that in mind. We learned about leaning into some more obscure mechanics, like having Dog and Ada turn into mobile loot vacuums. We found some recurring encounter locations that helped us improve our power level, and we positioned ourselves to start claiming more dangerous territory around the map. There's still more to learn, however, so Gump, Ada, and Dog are back to teach you all about the quirks of living a life dedicated to pavement worship. Then I want to say we went this way, came back up this way. That's when we got into that big fight and ended up getting shot in the ass by a railway spike. That's a ra Ooh, I'm off the road. You're not a real traveler unless you're keeping accurate tabs on the path you're carving, and I'll admit it, I didn't do a good job of this last time. That red line drawing I was doing on the map? It was a farce, an illusion to provide some context in a YouTube video. So to right the ship, we started from the very top in order to more accurately fill in our map as we progressed. You'd think after 20 hours things would be a lot easier for me, but I'd become quite adept at the skill of disappointing myself regularly. <laughs> Did you just fall off the bridge, bro? Stop talking about no. You can go too. <laughs> so disappointed in you two. You're in timeout officially. Ah! Just to strike while the incompetence iron is hot, I also accidentally deleted all my discovered locations and saved over my file. So backtracking wasn't even an option at this point. It was entirely necessary. After about five hours of backtracking, barely winning gunfights, and awkwardly navigating my way along the thinnest play area imaginable, I managed to catch up a bit with where we last left off and get a better sense of what we need to do to accomplish the goals we set for ourselves. Long story short, there's still a fairly large grind in our way between ingredient production at camp, sourcing large amounts of ammo, losing progress and whatnot, because outside of all the places I've already been, and you'll certainly see this as we go along, the open world encounters, I'm looking at you, Automatron, are almost hilariously unfair. Oh no. Get back on the road, girl. Oh, this is terrible. This is about the worst possible outcome. Ada, I appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you for covering my back as I cowardly run away. Yep. Looks like the road ends right here, but I have shots. Why have they decided to start attacking us? Okay, I need Ada to loot that dead body. It's a full set of armor. Go check that body. No problem. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is all gonna be really good loot. We're gonna get four, maybe five rust devils. Okay, I don't trust this guy. Okay. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. That's it? Dude, we're in the apocalypse. We're two friendly individuals. Wait, sir? I don't know if you want to keep going in that way. Do I stop it or do I just let it happen? Oh God, oh no, this poor guy. No, he's, oh, he made it, he made it out. Wait, oh God, no, it's a disaster. Oh, this poor fella. Oh, I do not like adventuring around down here. I'm just waiting to step on a landmine or something and lose everything. Huh, what'd I say? Landmine. 
I'm not even gonna risk it. You know what? I'm not. No. Okay. All right. All right. You just wanted to make me feel like a dick, didn't you, game? You know what? You know what? You do it. We could try to up our. We, we need to up our production. We're gonna pass by Diamond City and then hit the road. Look, you can already hear it. There's just machine guns and explosions. Swarm bot. I bot. Swarm bot. Scold. Tank bot. Scold. I bot. <laughs> okay. That was a good hit. Timed that explosion perfectly. If we can lead them back to Diamond City, we might be able to win this fight. I'm going to have to let Ada and Dogmeat go down, though. I need some of these Diamond City guards to help me out. If they die, I don't care. Piper, get out here and help. You've been looking for action. You've been waiting there for a month straight trying to get in this door. Maybe do something useful. How is this guy alive? The <laughs> Diamond City guards are unbelievable. Back it up. Why did I reload? Okay, I don't think he wants to follow me through this little alleyway. We've got several Diamond City guards on him. Piper's on him now. We made it out. Total side note, but man, looking back on it, I'm so disappointed I didn't try to advance dialogue with Piper or use action sequences to displace her onto the road, especially now in post, seeing that she's like three feet from the road. After 26 hours in game, apparently a giant shootout is what opens the Diamond City gate. If we got to chat with Piper, it probably would have been underwhelming, but I feel like it was a missed opportunity for science, and I'm sad about it. At least she's finally done arguing with an intercom after two months. Anyway, we went up that road a little bit, but then we backtracked. Here's where we ran into some real messy stuff. We died here a lot. As you begin exploring more dangerous portions of the road, your enemies will start to employ more unique, and oftentimes incredibly well-timed strategies. What an absolutely stunning creature out in the wild, roaming right on the road for us to find. I mean, just a beauty. Look at the specimen. Don't move. It's all right. Gunner? Wait, gunners? Oh, it's about time. Ada's doing roughly all right in this fight. One legend, oh no, 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 no! Pause, let's back it up a couple of seconds. Now, obviously I'm in a bind here. Nearly one tapped by a legendary gunner and given the strange conditions I'm forced to survive under, my only escape route is a linear path away from danger. However, I'm a gamer that prides myself on quick thinking and smart decision making, so. Took out Ada so fast. There it is. The f you sandwich. All right. Uh, what? Are you? You've got. There's no. I can't even. How in the? F what the? F a bamboozling strategy to which you may find yourself a victim. You're getting it from both ends, and even if you think things have quieted down and it's safe, trust me, when you have limited escape opportunities, this shit is hard. Not again, not again, not again, not again. Protect the albino. No, I accidentally killed it. No, the brain, the head, he's gonna do the thing. Oh God. What are you do Why is it always on both sides? Every time I get into a combat encounter, I'll be fighting in front. 12 o'clock, bing, bang, boom, fighting the enemies. I'm doing a great job. And then all of a sudden I turn around six o'clock, bam, right there to flank me. Incredible. Absolutely incredible gameplay. Never seen it before. You can only get it right here, right on this channel. I'll bring you back, Ada. You can trust me. My functions are over you're good, you're good, shake it off. Legendary, we gotta take this one out. Ada's probably gonna go down inside this building. Over here, move here, here. I need her to get out of the building now. No, Ada, crawl, crawl back to the road, please. Go. Violence protocols engaged. No, not violence protocol engaged. Stop crawling towards him. I need you right here, I gotta take the charge for now. Oh, she got her legs back. Oh. 
Gruel. Who's Gruel? All right, hold on. This, this random encounter keeps changing every time I spawn back in. I don't know who Gruel is, but I want to kill him. Okay. I, I, hey! Hey, hey, hey! What the hell, dude? No! You get the idea. It gets really tough, and some areas, especially the ones south of Boston, can just slap you around and make you feel like you've never played a video game before. Take some breaks from the carnage. Visit your people. In between last video and this one, we started to increase the number of people at our camp so we could really begin ramping up our production. We'll check back in at camp after a word from the sponsor of today's video, Enlisted. Enlisted is a free-to-play World War II multiplayer shooter with a strong focus on historical authenticity while keeping gameplay dynamic and players always in the heat of battle. Enlisted is available on PC, Xbox Series platforms, and PlayStation 5, as well as previous gen consoles, all with cross platform support. In my time so far with Enlisted, what I've enjoyed the most was the combination of real players with AI troops. It makes all the battles feel massive in scale. Controlling not just one troop, but an entire squad of them is a really unique gameplay element that separates it from other shooters. I love the chaos, because in my opinion, magic usually happens when there's a lot of toys in the sandbox. Register to play Enlisted for free today using my link in the description and pinned comment to receive free bonuses, including three days of premium time and several orders of troops and weapons. Rest and relaxation are important on a long road trip, so it's key to stop by home and bask in the appreciation of your settlers for all the hard work you're putting in for them. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Everything hurts. Easy living, this ends. I know I say this a lot, but it's fucking bullshit that I leave this town constantly. I go to war with every single person in the wasteland. I have stacked a pile of bodies that could fill this entire alleyway defending us, stealing for us, looting for us, providing for you all. And yet the only comments I get when I'm back home, I don't get, hey, welcome home. Thank you so much. We're, you know, we're really appreciative of you building a floating platform that defies all physics with a robot repair platform just with your two bare hands. We really appreciate you turning road into usable soil. Thank you for making a dog, you know, be able to live here. Look, the only thing that's bad is we have like two beds. I'm gonna make more beds. Problem solved. We have ample room to sleep here. I don't wanna hear any more about the bed situation. It's not my job to figure out how they get up there to sleep. I'm doing right by my people here. They may be complaining, but they're totally in the wrong. We'll come back to these crybabies later. Now, we know that south of Boston is a bit too hairy for us right now. Well, what about downtown? Haven't been there much? How bad can it be? This whole road is a mess. Ooh, not a bad little find in here. Who the hell are you? Slim, looking to score? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So I'm just gonna walk up and introduce myself? Well, without introducing myself, just know the guy's name? <laughs> hey, Slim, long time no see. Hope you're doing well, how are you, Slim? Sure. Let me show you what I've got. Okay, all unexplored territory down here. Look at this asshole. Walking around in the apocalypse in one of the most dangerous portions of the map. I would have died here so many times at level one. And here comes this douchebag, walking around in his t-shirt and a hat. Sorry, it only makes sense for him to die here. Red Scorpion. Red Scorpion's gonna be tough as hell. Perfect place for me to run into. The one raider right in front of us. Let's see if we can hit him first. He's on an exploding car. Why does this happen every single... <gasps> Shit, Ada's already down. I'm about to go down. Oh, but our boy is back. Da -da -da. Guy in a t-shirt, walking through the apocalypse. That's the movie I want to see. I'm tired of all these cliche post-apocalyptic adventures. I want Guy in a t-shirt. His shirt contains no logos or colorful drawings. His pants, plain as can be. A well-fitting, but unassuming pair of jeans, sneakers that are nondescript and feature no popular name brands. He's the t-shirt guy, and he's average as fuck. This summer. <laughs> I need the, I need to uh, commission the movie voice guy this summer. Landmine, landmine! I'm stuck on the... Ah, the dog! Why? Move, you useless mutt! 
All right, so clearly anything south of like this line is going to be damn near impossible for me right now. At the time of recording, it felt like I was back at square one. I'm having fun, yes, but then the realization of just how much longer I had to go began to set in. I'm a ways off of being powerful enough for these fights down here. There's still a large amount of roads to the northeast I haven't even come close to touching. I've got a failing business, ungrateful interns to manage, and a whole lot of highways that I, at one point in time, thought would be impossible to reach. Come on. Eh. Like, that's so weird. In this clearly open space, it should be... Can I'm farming here! Hey! Get off my lawn, you annoying... Rapscallions. I'd like you all to focus on farming, but go out there and kick some ass. Like, what the fu- This one is overpowered. Can I just move the corn over there? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, we're making a super carrot. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my crafting, but all my vegetables now can just fuse into each other. Have you been looting highways? I really haven't. I haven't found a good path up to a consistent highway. Let's take this shopping cart all the way across Lexington. Maybe we could use the hitbox and jump up onto the highway. Second shopping cart right there. Let's take note in case we need to. Third shopping cart right there. All right, so right here. Can we build this? Can we build a stack of these? Oh, no. We just we just land inside of it. I don't think it's possible to move the car. If this is our way of accessing the bridge, I'm gonna be so happy. No way! I cannot believe this works. Come on, after 30 hours, I am finally gonna get onto this bridge. Okay, so that jump is a little bit tough. We're still just a tiny bit too low. What can we do? What can we do to get that extra little bit of oomph? We're so close. Barrel? Barrel, barrel. Barrel acquired. I gotta walk it though. I can't run with it. Let's just let it, let's just let it sit down. What about a second car? Do you think it's possible for us to just push another car and line it up with the other car? I cannot, <gasps> hold on a second. So we can't stand on the little square box, but car can stand on the square box. We need to use this to our advantage. So if we put the square box somewhere like here, or maybe like... Which one of you dumb fucks just launched my square box? Ooh, like it? I like that. If we hit it kind of here, it jumps. All right, that's what we need. So we're gonna... Okay, all right, easy car. It's on top of the box. So it is risen a little bit. No, Mr. Tire! <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, I, I lost my tire. We gotta find a new one. Tire, tire, tire. Gotta be another tire somewhere. No, that tire doesn't work. A certified Juve Aero trick shot moment. <gasps> tire, I'm on the road. I'm on the road. Still on the road, we got a foot. Gotta be kidding me. I'm an idiot. I literally could have grabbed the tire the entire time. I'm really glad I wasted all that time. <gasps> okay. We've got a little bit of push. To get a bit of a push forward. Not bad, but not exactly what I need. We gotta do this like a surgeon. Let's just stick this bad boy under here. Why don't we see actually what if we can... Oh, don't do that. This is so stupid. This is so dumb, but please work. Hold on. Tire is removed. Car is now floating. Now we're getting somewhere. We have a checkpoint with this progress. I'm gonna see what happens if we just move this. Oh 
almost, almost. Look at that thing teeter-totter. Come on, dog, I need you here. Let's tell him. Head over there. Go over there and let's bring him back here. Let's see if he can just knock the tire our way. I love you. I love you. I love you. Wait there. Now stay right put. Don't move. This is the most important stay I have ever commanded you, dog. Uh, now the yellow car does look like it's kind of primed and ready to be pushed up onto the green car. Don't you think? Here we go. Yes, yes. I can't believe this is kind of working. Maybe now we try to shove green car a little bit deeper under yellow. And I think that this is the angle we're gonna wanna hit. This is the most boring vehicle porn of all time. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, this leads me to believe, though, that now I've moved the whole contraption a, f a bit too far in one direction. Well, let's just see what we can do here. Maybe we got some magic going. Keep climbing, yellow. Keep climbing, baby. Go, yellow! This has to work. This has to. We're so, we are right here. No, no, we're right there. We are so close. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in one of these games. Ooh, that yellow car wants to just raise up so bad. This has got to be it. I mean, we are there. We're right here. We, we made it. We're on. We did it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Dog, Ada, I don't know how to get you guys up here, but I don't really care, but we made it. We're up. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> so much effort to get us up here. Ah, oh, gosh, why do they always have to do this? Why must my best friends always launch themselves off the highway? That's gonna be a tough raider. Looks like he just has a bolt action pistol revolver. It's hitting really hard. Let's go, Ada, push up, push up. You got this. Come on, stay in one piece, babe. Truck might explode. I am so locked in. Oh, you do oh, what the first group should be simple. Oh shit. I didn't think they'd have a dog. You are so lucky you didn't just walk right into me again. If he pokes his head over the horizon though, that already means I'm dead. So let's we'll see if we can get some height here. Perfect. No way. He can actually hit that. He's got the range for sure. Was not expecting that kind of range. Where is he? Oh, he's close. Oh, he's very close. Wait, where's his thing? Where's the mini nukes? Dumb shit really decided to run out of mini nukes. Okay, so this is, this is 100% on the road. I mean, it's even paved in the same way. I claim this outpost. For Team Road. Don't start with me about how I should have used Outpost Zamonja instead of Hangman's Alley. I heard enough of it from my chat while on the stream, okay? Let's just forget that this little discrepancy ever happened and move on. Ooh, okay. Legendary Super Mutant Brute. That's a problem. That's gonna hit pretty hard. They're already shooting. Whoa, minigun, okay. How the hell did that grenade land so close? Wow, wow. How was that thing so accurate? Shit. Health is low. Got him. Okay, the road officially ends here. This is a quaint little place. Road? 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 Hopscotch our way across? 
This is the worst possible location you could have built a bar. This seems like competition. Mac is opening up a store on the road. I am opening up a Mac and Cheese Enterprise founded on the road. This is a problem. Send a cease and desist. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send him a letter. Uh, <clears throat> I'm walking around and da, 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 da. hmm. This person is running a store. They're using the name Mac. I've made macaroni and cheese once. I own this now. And that's how YouTube works. Oh, I feel really bad who's for whoever's fighting the robots. This is a massive group of them. Are you shitting me? Why is it always from behind? I was not expecting this section to be this difficult. I can't believe we're still just running into a brick wall here. That's weird. This one just stops. On the map, the road just goes away, but this clearly is not gone. No, seriously. Why is it all empty right now? I feel I shouldn't be taking this for granted. Gone quite a while, Boston Airport. Another decent fast travel spot. Ada, you might want to prepare to lose someone else because I don't know if I'm making it out of here. Romer, we'll start with the easy one. Ooh, okay, there are a lot of them. Let's think long-term strategically here. These feral ghouls are fairly easy to take out. And there's a legendary. If I can use them to build up my next critical, bank a critical so I can save it for a crucial moment. Hey, get that. Where are you going? Don't do that just to flex on me. They're like running back inside like, ooh, look at all these indoors. You're not allowed out here. No, get out Go here. There. Stop running inside. It's not nice and I don't appreciate it. I think now is a good time to take stock on this challenge so far. Obviously, I've jumped around a lot, mainly highlighting some fights, locations, and general weird or funny things that occurred during this journey. Not too unusual for the channel. Now, I've skipped a ton while trying to give you all a sense of the grind involved. I didn't feel it necessary to show you all 50 times we had to go back to camp for sleep, food, water, and whatnot, but obviously it was a pretty important part of this run. By the end of what I think was my sixth, maybe seventh day streaming this challenge, it's hard to keep track at this point, we had our camp production at near full volume with a bunch of settlers committed to just carrots and grain. I wanted to aim for 1,000 of each ingredient required for mac and cheese. Well, on our way there, it became clear that plastic would be the only tough one to get to that point. We can scrap gunner weapons for plastic pretty easily, but it comes in really small doses. Because of how long this was taking, I drew up my final game plan. Northeast roads first because they're the most separated and visually distinct, easier to fill out, and satisfying to see some of that progress. Southwest for the same reason, but I have a feeling that the fights will be more difficult. Then I want to move east and go through the toughest portions of the map before heading back up north and scribbling my way through the cluster of roads in downtown Boston. Whatever highways I can get to, I'll try to hit. Whatever plastic I can scrap together, I'll try to collect, and eventually, if I take the right perks, things should start to level out a bit and I should be better suited for some tough encounters. You'll see it as we keep going, but for how much we interacted with the game world in this limited fashion, yes, it did get grating at times, and the automatron encounters are a little bit too much, but I just couldn't get over how consistently the game was delivering some absolutely bonkers situations. It's pretty far away still, but we have a game plan, and the light is at the end of the tunnel. Hey, I just wanted to introduce you. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Did you just interrupt the CEO while I was taking my beauty rest? <laughs> no way. Ada? Let's kick some fucking ass. Woo! Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, dog mate. What a save. There it is. There it is. Exactly what I expected. Now it's gonna shoot that giant laser beam and uh, the run is dead. Unless we can cripple its head. Nope, nope, run's dead. That's the exact same robot that was there last- And now there's all of these guys. Sorry, a little bit stressed out. Aim is bad, but king of the road, I am back. Can I reach you? 
I definitely cannot reach Ada. We're gonna have to leave her behind for a bit. What do we got here? Kelly? I don't know who you are, Kelly, but I'm gonna try and save you. Oh God, don't let that kill Kelly. I don't know who you are, Kelly, but I'm coming. Okay, who are you? Why are you so powerful? More products soon. Don't worry. And why are you? What is up with? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a few days, a week tops, and I'll be ready to do business again. What business? I'm very interested in this business. Maybe I would like to invest. We're gonna go County Crossing and follow this road straight north. I want to discover this, and then I want to move right. How many are there? One, two, three. There's a third one over here. We're pretty accurate in bats with this bad boy. Naturally. Let's not do that. If everyone could just die running low on battery, we're at about 25%. Uh, let's keep our eyes peeled here. I feel like we took most of them out. I am a bit uneasy though, especially in this section of the map. Time out. Gunners. Ah! How the hell did she survive that? We got confirmed laser weapons in here. Run's dead. Sorry, Ada. Ooh, run is not dead. Oh shit, they're all on the bridge right above us. That's a mini nuke? Yeah, he's got a fat man. Oh, there it is. There's the mini nuke, go! Woo Stop it. We need to build a little bit more distance between ourselves and the base. They'll never see us if we just sneak by quietly. They have seen us while sneaking by quietly. Okay, I could have sworn I heard the whistle of that. He's gotta be out of mini nukes, right? Let's use the suit as cover. <laughs> Bet you've never seen anybody use a loose power armor suit for cover. F off. No! Oh, I ran into it! I gotta point this out because I think it's cool. Uh, the explosive rounds from my gun blowing up a grenade that was well on its way to kill me, thus saving me, and then also blowing up this guy next to me. Yeah, this was awesome. Let's just try and see what's available to us here. That's what I want to see. From here, can we get up on the highway? What is it now? Who the fuck is that? I'm sorry, you may have heard of me. Okay, well, there goes that plan. Fuck it. We're gonna follow this road. Damn, he did a ton of damage there on just one hit. We gotta kill this guy. No way. If he gets around this bend, he's gonna be able to hit me. Come on, come on, come on, don't let him get me. Oh, the incredible accuracy and planning. Over here. No way! God damn it! Okay, never mind. Northeast, way too hard. Southwest it is. Oh, don't tease me. Don't tease me with highway access. I feel so blessed right now! I don't know which five square feet of road I haven't touched in this town, but what I do know is that there's a highway right here and I'm hitting it. Is it visible on the map? It is. Boom, right here. No, don't tease. Don't tease. I hate this game. I don't know if I can make that jump. Ooh, this is hard. All right, we've got maximum height. I lost my sprint, but we can hit the jump. I fucked up, I couldn't hit the shift key with my pinky. It's hard to keep my fingers dexterous. Got it, we're moving. King of the highway. How many times can one dog fall off of a highway? What is happening to my game? <laughs> Who's down? Oh, they're mannequins. I actually fell for it. I'm like, ooh, we got the drop on them. Nope. It's just plastic. All right, well, I want to do something cool here. Oh, oh! I'm not on the road. 
<laughs> Doesn't count. It does not count. Especially in the middle of some firefights. Like, I do try. As we do a firefight... That's the road. I'm gonna... There's no way I'm being thwarted by chain link. My greatest nightmare, my biggest fear, a road that appears unreachable. I can handle road that's blocked by enemies and exploding footballs, but impassable chain link? This is my greatest foe yet. However, like most problems in life, this one can be solved with drugs. Set your suit of power armor up as a foothold, pound some jet for a boost in jump height, and eventually... <laughs> What kind of offense is this? Yes! Anything is possible. If you believe in your dreams, if you follow your goals, if you stay true to yourself, then you can do whatever you want in this world. Like jump over a chain link fence. I feel good now. I'm here for one. Ah! Anyone see that? Did anyone see that? Uh, play it back in slow motion. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Oh, no, they're, he's going for the dog. This is good. Belly. We need a belly hit here. Belly. Open up. Oh, Jesus. Another one? you come on got to find some 45 rounds now you know what should have done this a while ago we have the funds to do it we got the capital Take them down. okay ada yeah just you know what do your own thing oh! yeah get him boy Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, reload! I'm ready to go home. I don't want to be on the road anymore. Okay, let's just relax on the party music for a second because we're not quite there yet. Sure, we've got about 80% of the roads covered, but heading into the final day of this long and seemingly never-ending road trip, I realized a couple of things, like, would I want to do something like this again? You know what, yeah, I think I would. However, if I had the choice between something like this or dragging my testicles across a field of cacti, suddenly the answer becomes less clear. I kid, I really did enjoy this journey, and crossing the finish line was immensely satisfying. I wouldn't recommend playing in this way, however. I do think that a happy medium would be some kind of mod that prevents you from going indoors during combat, kind of like how you can't fast travel or sleep if enemies are nearby. A lot of the fun from combat during all of this was that feeling that fights were stand your ground, do or die, not a lot of places to run or hide. As a general gaming experience though, oh there you are, Ada, you're alive? Or are you not alive? No, you're alive! Ada, you're alive! What the? <laughs> Imagine if I die to a stingwing here. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This certainly would have been more fun if I could just leave the road. The last day of this challenge was kind of weird. I started getting achievements in-game. I don't get official achievements on this channel. I make my own achievements. Okay, this is crazy. This is the only run we've ever done where I... I'm getting achievements. I've never unlocked achievements in this game and all, all the videos I've made, I've never gotten Steam achievements. It did make me realize that I guess we've just never beaten this game before on the channel. Oh, right. This game does have a story. 
What do you think Sean's up to? Has he just been watching all of this unfold confusingly from his lair underground? It started off with some pretty good vibes. I got to work on camp a little bit, do some monotonous grinding, re-explore the cakewalk areas. I even pulled a five crank legendary musket. That was awesome. Started game planning the perks I was gonna take, mainly explosive damage so spray and pray could just become broken. Everything was going completely perfectly as I prepped for the home stretch until, until one random morning. Uh oh. Woo! Hey! Holy shit! Yo! Good thing I just slept. What are all these people shooting at? Wait, they came through the back door? Hold on, hold on. The explosive shots are going to kill my settlers. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. They broke it in. Five crank. I need my five crank. Get the fuck out of the way. I will free my people. <gasps> that wasn't enough. Crank it, baby. Crank that. Save me, soldier boy. Whew. Thank you. Dodge the explosion. Ah, you missed ninety five percent in this crucial moment. Got him. Dead. Level thirty. Ada, you made it. How the hell did you survive? <laughs> oh no, my water. No, Junkyard Dog! Oh, you fought valiantly with the entire society. Huh? How the hell are none of you sad right now? I'm devastated. You didn't deserve it, pal. Oh no, the entire farm, our water, just absolute devastation. People are losing jobs. Food production is down. You know I call a good day? The Great Road Depression has finally hit. I always enjoy a good fight. I'm glad you're on our side. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Quest? No, just a simple appreciate it. All I got was I, I got paid an exposure. This is bullshit. I got a shout out. That's it. You are no longer spray and pray. You are the junkyard dog. Obviously, losing a loyal friend on the road is really hard. It's important to remember those lost along your journey respectfully. You wait, whoa, uh, don't eat him. No, what are you doing? Oh, you nasty, gnarly son of a- Off stream, and in private, I did have a one-on-one -on -one chat with Junkyard Dog, and he said, <laughs> And I think it's important that we all learn a lesson and just live our lives to the fullest. You never know how long we're going to have those that we love around us, and it's always important to remember the impact that people have had on our lives, and Junkyard Dog has impacted my life distinguishedly and, and really confidently, you know, sat there and explained to me why <laughs> was- Kind of just changed my outlook on this whole thing and why we why we're doing what we do. Just don't take things for granted because I know that I'm going <clears> to <throat> for the rest of this whole run. When you're struggling in those last few hours of a long road trip, building up an imaginary revenge tale is the perfect way to get the energy to push through. That stupid minivan cut you off? Giant robots murdered your dog? The YouTuber you're currently watching has actually played Starfield while you haven't? Sorry, y'all. Can't say anything else right now. You know what? Maybe this is what's going to get you in the revenge mood. Enlisted! Once again, thank you to Enlisted for sponsoring today's video, which if you didn't know, you can download using my link to support the channel. Do it. Please. Thanks again to our good friends over at Enlisted, which is a free-to-play game that you can download using my links down below. Do it. Now that you're sufficiently upset at me, and together, we have the feeling of pent-up revenge inside. 
Let's finish this goddamn thing. There's that dog. Come here. 78 XP. What is that dog made of? Legendary Raiders down. Is that the one with the mini uh, minigun? Sorry, dog. We definitely haven't gone through this road. That's bad. We don't have any kind of tactical advantage this far away. Especially if that car explodes. Nice. Legendary's down. Rocket. Woo! Thank you, miscellaneous rooftop. I'm not buying it. This is a false bill of goods I'm being sold by the quietness of this town. I'm going to open up this gate. I am going to open up the gate, not you, dog. Remember who the main character is here, okay? This is a settlement? It's way more on the road than my current settlement. <laughs> oh, well, I, I guess I didn't have to cheat the rules. We should have just come to Croup Manor. Take anything good. Come back with plastic or you're not allowed back at the home base. Junkyard dog would have found plastic. Aw, oh, his legs are broken. Poor guy. Now die! That's at your mom's... <laughs> Shut up. <gasps> Laser rifle! Mm, that's what we need. Hey. Laser rifle! I wish you could breed. Okay, that one kind of worked because I need more laser rifles. Laser rifle, you're the one for me. Yes. Laser rifle, you're the one I need. Ooh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. It fits, we're on the road, so uh, make it sound like Backstreet Boys. Laser rifle, can't you see? The da -na -da -na -na -na. That you're the only gun for me. Okay, that was kind of close, but we didn't round it off all that well. <laughs> There's no gun like you in the seven seas. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm singing a love ballad to my laser rifle. Please don't ever sing again. You know what? Uh, so, fun story. Jeez, huh? Okay, who lives up here? I don't know. It's the... Ada, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out! Get! Sorry, Ada. Sorry, that was... I lost my cool. That's on me. Oh, I'm dead. That's killing me. Yep. Oh, I accept. Just kill me. Haha, -ha, you missed! Oh, I walked into it! I'd like to take this time to celebrate the fact that we do have 1,000 carrots, 1,000 water, 1,000 razor grain, all we need is about 800 more plastic. It's gonna take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. All right, obviously you have the ability to shout. Can you talk to me down here? Or is this where we part ways? <laughs> take that. Come on, we just gotta get to the end of this road. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck off. Get behind the car. Get behind the car. We need cover. I don't care if the car's going to explode. The car's going to explode. Are we are you for real? Shot his rocket. Ada, 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 Ada. I want to love you, Ada, but you just make it so. Ada, please get out of my way. I'm not afraid. I have the skill, I have the patience, I have the energy. There it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta get out of here. So we'll take care of Jamaica Plain. Then we can have it at least marked off on the map. No, Ada! I'm gonna... <laughs> You're done. You're done, Ada. Our relationship 
over. Done. No more talking, no more arms. All you do is you float around and you- See if she had anything. No problem. Yeah, that's your entire role now. Get used to it. I'll get it done. <laughs> it's not a road trip if mom and dad don't get into a huge argument, right? Not another one. Who is it? You've never survived until you've played peekaboo with raiders. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Oh, so you're saying I should leave useless things behind? Heads up. Yes. Wait there. Understood. I'm going straight through, cutting through the middle. Get me out of this thing. Oh man, you don't know how good it is to hear your voice, little- Oh wait, I can't get him! <laughs> no, he's off the road! Okay, can I shoot the thing? Uh, my legs are so stiff. Come on, kid, walk right over here. He's coming closer. Billy is in motion. A little bit closer. A little bit more. No, 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 don't walk away! You can do it, you can do this, Bill. I can't. <laughs> A little bit stuck here. Hey, Billy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Billy, welcome back. Long time no see, kid. We went on a lot of fun adventures together. I was a great father. I'll take you someplace safe. I just want to go home. I want to find my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. What are you doing to the car? <laughs> Ada, you can, I know you're in, you're mad that you don't have arms anymore, but like, try not to get me killed, please. Yeah, Baker, mini nuke. Please hit the fence. Nope. Ooh, there are a lot of them here. Clint? Imagine being in the baddest raider gang in the entire wasteland. And your name's Clint. Piss off, Clint. Oh my gosh, Ada, enough! I meant to do that, that was intentional. We are back on the highway. See you, dog. <laughs> nice try, buddy, sorry. That is it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> she said good riddance. All right, Ada, you're starting to earn back some points. Keep it up and maybe you earn back a limb. Let's take out. Oh, Ada, God. You have to adjust for the Ada quotient whenever you're dividing by uh, death. 164 rounds. This should be able to get us through, right? Let's take this highway first. Let's just see where this one gets us. So now if we follow this road, it looks like it takes us this stretch right here. And that takes us into like the final little bit that we need. But what I wanna do is see how far I can take this highway just straight. Oh, this bad boy goes on forever! I hope you aren't badly damaged. I'm not damaged. Maybe my brain, but my legs are intact. Can't say the same about your legs. <laughs> Oh, this takes us to like the worst FPS spot in the entire game. I didn't think we'd be able to get up here legit. We hit the clearing. What a view. What a view. I mean, just gorgeous. Okay, I see all the roads that we have left. There are three little tiny roads left. The hell happened to you? You die in the loading screen? Get up. Jackson ensured I was well built for travel. His modifications will be adequate for quite some time. Get back to work. We are on the exact road that I wanted to be on, this one right here. So what we have to do is we have to follow this road up. Follow it up. We go, whoop, and then we go, whoop. Left turn, is this the road? It's so hard to tell when you're down here. I can't believe I've gone through this final little bit. Knock on wood, unscathed. Now if we go up here and take a right, the second we cross the finish line, we go back home to camp. Woo! There it is. 
straight shot. Save my sprint, just in case I need it. Why, wow, there's something behind me. Three bullets left, super mutant right in front. Oh God, how many more are you are there? I just wanna finish the challenge, please. Ah, oh Christ. Okay, maybe they can just fight those raiders inside the parking garage. Why does there have to be drama? Right at the last one. Automatic laser pistol. Ooh, no! God! No. Okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. How am I not dead? Oh, this thing sucks. Getting tired yet? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Uh-oh. Huh. Oh, get me off this road. It's hell on earth. That's how you know this road has been unscathed the entire time. Confirmation that the last road is indeed a road I have never been to. Oh god, he's right behind me, go. Ow, ow, big hit. Get some water, stim pack, more water, fuck it, just drink it. Take the quantum. I need the AP, run. Oh my god, how many more of you are there? Why? Was that enough explosions? Not a turret on the ceiling! Huh. Okay, we only, we only have to get out of danger, and we can go back home. Oh my god, fuck you! Get some, motherfuckers! No, nope, nope, that's it, I'm done, I'm done. There's, there, I'm done, I quit. Am I even on the road anymore? Yeah, I guess I am. This counts, this is valid. Can I go home now? Can I please go home? Crank, 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 crank it. Crank it, crank it, crank it. Reload. Ah! Oh, God. I'm shooting at mannequins. I'm seeing ghosts. Yes! Victorious! <laughs> That was electric. With an approximate final time of 44 hours, three minutes, and 45 seconds, my journey had finally come to a close. It was chaotic, fun, and honestly really challenging at times. Yes, nonsensical and stupid, but by limiting myself in this way, I got to answer questions like, how do you get on this highway, obtain loot, or jump this fence without ever leaving the road? Life is about making the most, not when things are handed to us, but rather when agency is taken away, when our backs are against the wall, and when we're not quite sure if an answer to our questions exists. It's about taking your can't leave space among the 8 billion people on this planet and trying your damnedest to make the most out of it, or at the very least, have a good time. The green lines on this map indicate highways that I was unable to reach. Take a screenshot, and if you can get up there, please let me know. The last question I have to answer for, because for some reason I decided to commit to the bit of running a mac and cheese business, how much did we end up making? I don't know why we did this. Just don't. Just forget this whole part of the experiment. Just move on with your life in 496.